Recently, I read that youth are the majority of the African population. So, sincerely for me, it's an honor to enter into dialogue with you, students of the African universities. I recall that once Kofi Annan, an ex-Secretary General for the United Nations, once wrote that if a society cuts off its youth, its young generation, from society, it is condemned to bleed to death. And I can apply this to the church. <clears throat> if the church cuts off the young generation from its life, it is condemned to bleed death. So it is important that we help one another to journey together. One of the ways how young people can really engage uh, with society is the intergenerational dialogue. They say that youth have the power to open the doors for the future, but adults have the key for the future. So it is very important that we enter into this intergenerational uh, dialogue. For if a society, if in a society there is a rupture between the young generation and adults, it means that society has no roots. And allow me to say this, if young people do not have this engagement, this dialogue with adults, with the elderly, that means that young generation has no roots, is unrooted. So it is more than a pleasure for me when I learn that you are going to get engaged in a dialogue with a man of 86 years, Pope Francis. Pope Francis is a very interesting person, even for me personally. He has a lot to share with us. Above all, his spiritual experience, his intimacy with Jesus, Jesus who is the fullness of life, joy, and meaning. So, I encourage you to not only enjoy your dialogue with a man of 86 years, Pope Francis, but also to get inspired in order to engage more with your elderly, to share with them the wisdom of life. My brothers and sisters, presently we are celebrating a synod for the whole church. And the theme is for a synodal church. And a synodal church is a church where we all walk together, we journey together, young and adult. May this synodal experience of the Catholic Church also help you to enhance this dialogue between generations.